Since about 1300, the Archbishops of Canterbury have had their London residence here in Lambeth Palace. The view from Lambeth Palace is straight across to the Houses of Parliament, Big Ben, and of course, Westminster Abbey. And at the moment, Westminster Abbey is very much in everybody's minds as we look forward to the royal wedding. Every marriage is a really big commitment for the people involved. It's a lifetime commitment. It's a commitment that says, actually, I'm prepared not only to spend the rest of my life with you, but to spend the rest of my life finding out about you. There's always going to be more of you to discover. And if that's what people are saying to each other in a wedding, that says something very deeply important about what human beings are like. There's a mystery, a delight at the heart of human beings, and it's possible to spend a lifetime and more exploring just that. A marriage is, of course, first and foremost about two individuals, but no individual exists alone. People come to their weddings with families and friends around them. And of course, in this particular wedding, they're coming with friends and supporters all around the world, watching and witnessing. Every wedding, then, sends a message to people. It's two people declaring something, not only about themselves, but about what they most deeply believe, the values they most deeply hold to, declaring that to the whole world around. A marriage is good news because it says something so deep about our humanity. And it tells us that we can have grounds for hope that there are still people around who want to spend their lives with each other, who want to make this great act of generous commitment to one another. And so everybody around the world watching this will have some sense of the commitments that are possible. People who are witnessing a wedding are bound, I think, to ask themselves, well, if William and Catherine can make that sort of commitment, if these people can share that sort of generosity, Perhaps I'm capable of more generosity and more commitment, more faithfulness, more purposefulness than I ever thought. Perhaps there's more to me than I ever realized. William and Catherine are making this commitment very much in the public eye. And they're sensible, realistic young people. They know what the cost of that might be. They've thought that through. And because of that, they will need the support, the solidarity, and the prayers of all those who are watching today. We have to be witnesses in an active sense, the kind of witnesses who really support what's going on. To be a witness is more than to be a spectator, and I hope that'll be part of people's experience at the time of the wedding. It's been a real pleasure to get to know the couple. I've been very struck by the way in which William and Catherine have approached this great event. They've thought through what they want for themselves, but also what they want to say. They've had a very simple, very direct picture of what really matters about this event. I think that they have a clear sense of what they believe they're responsible to, responsible to the whole society, responsible to God for their relationship. And I think it's impressive that they've had that simplicity about it. They, they've known what matters, what's at the heart of all this. They've worked towards that because I think they are deeply unpretentious people. And that message about taking that responsibility sensibly, realistically, courageously, that comes over very strongly in conversation with them. Any priest or minister conducting a wedding is bound to feel a huge sense of privilege. You're invited into some intimate places in people's lives. You're invited to take part in a, a very, very significant moment, a moment of hope, a moment of affirmation about people's present and future. And I felt very privileged to be part of this event for those reasons. Here are young people sending a message of hopefulness, sending a message of generosity across the world. And it's my privilege to be able to bless that in the name of God, to witness it in the name of God, and to send them on their way. Naturally, I want to wish William and Catherine every richest blessing in their life together. But I want to wish them especially the courage and clarity they'll need to live out this big commitment in the full glare, to live it out for the rest of us. I hope they'll be given the strength and the persistence to go on showing the rest of us what's possible for the whole of their life together. <laughs>